I am Aaron Shembury and I'm at Jack's Place. Be all right. Do you recall the first song or artist uh, or person that became an early influence? My grandfather. Fred. Yeah, he was the man. Um, I knew he was a musician as a kid. I was growing up and he'd always told me that, I, that he played music. He actually played clarinet. But there was a lot of music at home that I'd heard from my dad, my mum. Mum thrashed John Farnham and Chisel. Dad thrashed Credence and, you know, all the ACDC stuff. So it was always around. And what got you into playing guitar? Well, <laughs> I, was, I played piano at nine, so I started learning piano at nine. Um, I enjoyed learning piano, but as soon as I got to high school, I was like, no, nah. you're not going to get girls if you play piano. <laughs> Let's get, I'll learn guitar. <laughs> well, that's because you have a, a European background. Yeah, so exactly. that's where the girls thing comes exactly. in. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let's get on to the album. I met Hannah Busking at Fed Square mm. with, um, with Bart Willoughby. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, just doing his thing. Yeah. And, um, but you described Hannah as a friend and a mentor. Mm, certainly. Especially because I was so young, I was 17 or 18. Not many 17-year-olds have that opportunity to sort of, you know, learn off those guys. A huge, huge inspiration as well. Um, and a great, great mentor. He, he saw something in me that I didn't see at the time. You've managed to have the likes of Normie Rowe, yeah. Ross Wilson, Russell Morris, Colleen Hewitt, Phil Manning, Kevin Borich, Wilbur Wilde, Mark Gable, Mike Rudd, James Couples, and John Swan appear on the album. How did you make all that happen? Well, majority of these guys I'd, I'd gigged with before. Um, Swanee I, I'd worked with many times. Um, Norm, I was playing bass with, with, with um, him and Gil and... Uh, on the go show tour. Trotter. I did the go show, yeah. And it was just amazing to sit there and watch and, and see how they go about it. Let's go through some of the album's tracks. Yeah. What was happening in your life when uh, when you wrote Good Enough For You? I hold that close to my heart, that one, because that was about my grandfather. And um, the day after he passed, I just sort of sat home and had a couple of chords and actually just wrote the song. You so know. it's a real person. It, it is, yeah, it really is. There's a love behind the anger When it's beating through this old heart The sun, it keeps on shining Every single time that I cry and I'm searching for your answers But I feel it traveling through my bones It takes a warrior to let it drift away What's good enough for you is good enough for It was probably my way of dealing with my the first real death in the family because he was the first to go. Yeah. Come On In My Kitchen features the unmistakable voices of Ooh, Colleen yeah. Hewitt and Russell Morris. And this is the first time Colleen and Russell have sung together on an album. The session was a lot of fun. I'd spoken to Russ. Russ loves his blues and I love my blues. And Colleen, one of the, one of the great female voices um, and a lovely person. And I sort of just teed it up and I said, well, let's do a, a duet. I'll get you two in together and, and we'll do a, a blues Robert Johnson song. It was just such good fun. Just, yeah. And it was such a great buzz to be doing it live and watching them do their thing, you know. 
everyone had a smile on their face and just had a great time. Don't You Worry Now was a song you started writing with Hannah, and it must have been a real thrill to have Ross Wilson sing the lead on it, let alone get him in the studio. I know, I know. I started writing it with Ross Hannaford before he got unwell, and um, there were no words to it, so I sort of put my Hannah hat on, you know, the propeller hat. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I thought, well, let's try and keep this as Hannaford as possible. And um, the greatest compliment I had from Ross Wilson was, oh, is that Ross Hannaford playing guitar? Because oh. unfortunately he didn't get to record, but that was me playing guitar. You actually had three members of Daddy Cool on the album. You had Ross, Wayne I Duncan. Know. Yeah, yeah. And, well, Hannah was involved in a song. Didn't get yeah. Gary Young in there somewhere in the mix? That didn't, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> it's a little Daddy Cool reunion yeah. uh, on the album. But, cool. uh, City Lights is an ambitious debut album. Uh, did you find it a challenge to not lose yourself uh, within the eclectic mix of artists? I think I stuck true to myself throughout the whole process. Because it's 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 great because I've got different inspirations per track: blues, reggae, the rock and roll, um, even country. Um, so I, I I look at it and I go, well, if someone asked me, what are your inspirations? I can say this is me. This is what I do. I think it represents me the best best way possible. Uh, when Kevin Burrich rocked up, Ooh. did he come in with a? Twin Marshall stack. That, uh, that was a Saturday, and, and we did the guitar show that day. And he had <laughs> every possible amp on stage. But he literally just, we walked in and, oh, he's going to kill me if I say this. But he plugged straight into the desk, got a great little sound, and played one of the best slide solos I've ever heard. The City Lights album launch is on the... 25th of September. Yeah. At the is it the memo? Memo, yeah, yeah. At the memo Theater. in, in yes. memo theatre in St Kilda. Yeah. And sadly, I'm not going to be there because no, I'll be on a plane <laughs> to Italy, as I was saying before. So uh, I know there's no chance of putting the gig back a week. <laughs> so uh, what can we expect on the night? And uh the artists that appeared on the album going to be at the show? Yes. Um, everybody bar Kevin Boric is going to be there because Kev's actually in Europe as well by that time. So we'll sort of uh, break it up a bit and we'll do the album in full and we'll have the guests do a couple of tunes that they're well known for and uh, some of a great, some of Australia's greatest songs. You yeah. know? So you've got Mike's, he's doing some of his Spectrum songs. Um, you know, Mark will do a couple of his Choir Boy songs, which will be good because it gives the audience something that they've heard because it's always hard doing an original thing. Yeah. You're sort of going to go in blindfolded and go, well, this is it. With, uh, so I've got Benny Cant on drums, um, Lee Bradshaw who produced the album, he's on key, keys, um, Rosie and Helen are on backing vocals, Damien Marshall, Wilbur's going to be in there doing sax and uh, yeah, Luke Austin on bass. It's a cast of thousands. Well the, the event and ticket details are on screen uh, if you're in Melbourne on Wednesday the 25th of September. Do yourself a favour and get to the gig. Yeah. Uh, and me not being there, there'll be room for one extra person. <laughs> there you go. Which song do you wish you'd written? Johnny Be Good. You can have only one guitar. Uh, oh, it'd be the Gibson ES345. The 345, the stereo mm, model. Yes, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. There yeah. you go, all right. I'll do a Chuck Berry and get buried with it. <laughs> yeah, that'd be Chuck. He wouldn't want anybody to no, have anything, no you know? way. <laughs> you get to be one person for an entire day. Uh, Mick Jagger at 76, he's still gigging, and his, his, his wife. All right, OK. <laughs> Mick, we'll we won't, we'll just, we'll just edit that bit out. Right. Aaron, it's been a hell of a lot of fun. I've enjoyed the chat. Thanks for coming to Jack's Place. Thanks, mate. You're Thank welcome. You. Yeah. Give you a little thumbs up. Why not? We'll do that.